The Land Rover for Oliver Acres Douglas is a vital resource. It allows him to explore the countryside and find locations for his pictures. South Wiltshire offers a beautiful and distinctive landscape. This is a scene I painted exactly a year ago, uh, just after harvest, and is characteristic of the sort of scene that I like to paint. Um, the chalk downs round here have incredibly steep sides, which offers um, terrific um, uh, topographical views of the land below. Um, and I also feel that the light on these chalk downs is often of a clarity that I think uh, is very specific. Today, Oliver heads towards a new landscape to paint. The harvest is over and the swallows are migrating south. The site, a former Iron Age hill fort, is full of interest with panoramic views on top of the South Wiltshire Downs. A lot of time and effort is spent waiting for the right conditions. But I like this idea of um, broken English weather. So that is offering me um, an ever shifting uh, collage of light and dark. Oliver embarks on a picture. His sizeable landscapes are painted entirely outside. Unlike many artists who retreat to the studio to work up paintings from sketches and studies, Oliver unusually likes to create finished, large-scale canvases entirely on the spot. Firstly, a layer of foundation white is applied. Oliver then adds some underpainting with a colour wash. generous quantities of paint to the canvas using a palette knife. He's largely self-taught and has developed a distinctive and unusual way of handling paint. Influences include Freud and Auerbach. You can't load a paintbrush with the same effect that you can load a palette knife. And so a lot of the mixing that has traditionally been done by gradual um, glazes in traditional painting, I found I could replicate instantly with uh, a loaded palette knife and mixing the paint sometimes even on the canvas. As the landscape alters, Oliver captures the fleeting conditions trying to convey a specific moment. Well, there's the conditions obviously changing as they do. Forecasts change and then um, the weather changes within a day, within an hour. Uh, there's that. Uh, so I'm trying to juggle um, weather. I'm trying to get the landscape at the right moment. I mean, these bales will only be here for a couple more days. So I've got to... Uh, at this time of year particularly juggle not only the weather but the harvest um, and then I have to try and create a coherent picture out of um, all these separate events. Finding scenes isn't always possible by car. Oliver uses maps to find special spots outside the gaze of the motorist. Leaving London and a career as a writer and journalist, he's become fully immersed in the landscape in which he now lives and works. Usually I'm, I've got an idea of a picture that I'm tr often trying to fit a landscape to and other times the landscape uh, offers me the opportunity of a picture. So it's, it works both ways. Some things lend themselves to paint and um, the fussiness of the city and the exactitude of architecture suited what I do less I think I like the I like um, the organic nature of uh, color and form you get in the in the countryside uh, so this picture 
It was a fairly happy picture because I was able to do it in just a few days with the same weather conditions. Painting is 90% practice and perspiration and then you, that you get these happy moments when you, uh, the world starts looking more like a picture than the picture looking like the world. The painting is finished, but the thickness of the paint means it sometimes takes months to dry. Oliver's work has a resonance which itself is long-lasting. Yes, trying to convey a sort of visceral quality of landscape that hopefully isn't sentimental or um, overly dramatised. I'm trying to express what I see in as dynamic way as possible. Mm -hmm.